wigs what kind of wigs should you buy what should be the things that you should be looking for while purchasing a wig this is a very confusing question i have struggled with this for so many years but now you know i can definitely share from my experience what is it that i look for whenever i you know go and buy a wig the first thing that you need to understand is that when you buy a wig one of the reasons why you are buying a wig is to ensure that you are able to hide your masculine features so what are your masculine features your jawline your shoulders right so we have to ensure as you know people who are trans or people who are you know cross dressing we have to ensure that we are able to hide these features somehow so how can you do it you know with a good wig though there are many styles of wigs you know i'll get into that later in some other video but in this video let me share two things which i always look for whenever i'm buying a wig the first thing is the length of the wig now wigs are of different lengths you know there are wigs which will be just till here then there are wigs till you know mid chest area and then there are wigs which go really long you know it covers your entire chest or go, goes below the chest the reason why having a longer wig helps is because you will be able to hide these features very easily your masculine shoulders very easily you will be able to hide those features which make you look masculine and you will be able to portray yourself in a more feminine way right so please remember the length of the wig is very 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 important okay the second thing that you need to remember is the volume or the density of the wig what do i mean by density or volume it's basically how full it looks around your face right so if you're wearing a wig which may have good length but doesn't have the right density it will leave gaps you know and people can see through the wig and it will not look good though this wig has enough density you know i'm talking about many wigs out there which are available online or in shops which don't carry that density i'll tell you you know something which has happened with me a few years ago i was doing a small photo shoot uh, with a photographer i had done my makeup i was looking absolutely good you know before putting on the wig i was very confident that you know what yes i can go ahead and you know do the shoot then i put on my wig and at that point in time i did not know you know what kind of wigs i should be wearing i just went i had just gone to a shop and i just bought it the wig had good length it definitely you know it covered you know my entire chest area but the wig had no volume and when he was taking pictures he said that any you know we cannot go ahead with this shoot because i you know in the pictures we can see through <laughs> see through you know your hair we can see the background and it look it was so embarrassing for me to be in a situation where you know i wanted to get my photos taken and i wanted to look very beautiful and it just didn't happen so i learned you know whenever you buy a wig please ensure the volume is good another reason why volume helps is because as i mentioned earlier our jawline is very masculine right we have a very masculine um, jawline because we are not naturally born as females so a bigger fuller wig will help you to somehow mask you know let me show you see it it somehow helps me to mask my masculine features my shoulders are hidden because there's enough density my shoulders are hidden i can you know if since the length is also good enough i can hide a lot of my masculine features my jawline it's only because this wig has good volume and it has good length so please ensure next time when you are buying a wig don't buy something which is too short and don't buy something which is very you know which doesn't have enough density or which doesn't have enough volume volume and length just remember these two things and i'm sure you'll be able to find good wigs it doesn't matter you know if it is a very expensive wig or it is a very cheap wig length and volume you know you'll get in all all kinds of price range you know starting from cheaper wigs to expensive wigs length and volume you should be able to figure out 
so that's it for this videos uh, this video i hope you liked it uh, if there's anything else you want me to talk about let me know in the comment if there's any topic that you want me to you know cover which i have probably not covered by now please let me know i'll make a video on it uh, in future so please don't forget again to like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye bye